Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to use a small case to perform chi-square test. So, there are two questions being asked to test the effectiveness of coronavirus vaccinations especially. Okay. So, government of India that uh, had a massive vaccination drive recently and to check the uh, effectiveness of vaccination drive, there are two questions which are being asked to the respondent. Okay. Number one question is that are you vaccinated? The answer will be yes or no. Okay. Second question was that are you affected by coronavirus? Yes or no. Okay. Unlike other parametric and non-parametric test here, we must understand when we perform chi-square test, the response variable is always categorical. It is not metric. Like what we are getting in other parametric and non-parametric test, we, we are getting the metric data. Like metric data could be student's mark, it can be weight, it can be like rupees, it can be advertising budgets, whatever maybe. So these are all numbers. Okay. So but here in case of chi-square test, what we are going to use we are going to use categorical data okay. so this yes and no responses are counted that means the frequency of yes and no are converted into numbers okay. so you can see like this is the treatment like covid 19 vaccination treatment there are people who have taken vaccinations and there are people who are not vaccinated the people who are vaccinated, out of them, only 20 people have been affected by corona after vaccinations. And the people who are not vaccinated, their number is just 100. Whereas the people who have got vaccinated, they have not been affected by corona, their number is 480. Okay. And the people who have not been vaccinated but have been affected by corona, their number is 1400. So, this is the total for vaccinated, those who are vaccinated, number of total respondent uh, is 500 and here those who are not vaccinated at all, their number is 1500 and the total sample size is 2000. Okay. So, this is what we have got, this is a 1820 and this is 1880, so this is 2000 we have got. So, this is the hypothesis that uh, we have developed that means S0, this is the null hypothesis vaccination has not been effective in checking the spread of corona virus. This is a null means null condition exists. That means vaccination has not been effective or has does not have, have any effect. Okay. Number 2, this is H1, this is the alternative hypothesis vaccination has been effective in checking the spread of COVID-19. So, this is the chi-square calculated formula, this is the sum of observed value, sum of observed value minus expected value whole square divided by E means expected value. We will understand this once you prepare the, we prepare the table, okay. So, you can see these are all observed value, this is the observed value like 20, this is observed value those who are vaccinated, okay, and affected by corona, okay, and those who are not vaccinated but affected by corona. Similarly, this is for those who are vaccinated but not affected by corona and those who have not been vaccinated but have been, have not been affected by corona. So, all these values we have put there, okay, we have put there, okay. So, then we have to calculate this expected value. How to calculate expected value? Ca expected value can be calculated like row total minus column total divided by total number of samples. So, so, in this case, what is the row total? Row total is 500, okay, into 120 divided by this is 2000, okay. So, this is the row total into column total, this is divided by n means 2000, we will get this value. Similarly, for this value, we will get it, this is the row total 1500 into this value 120 divided by 2000, we will get this value. Okay. Similarly, for this column, 
like observed value that we have got, we have to calculate this. Okay. Or simple, what we can do? Okay. What we can do? We can calculate it like 500 into 120 divided by 2000. Or we can directly that subtract like total it is 500 minus 300. We will also get this value. So, there are two ways we can do. So, either we can deduct this expected value that is 30 from 500 we will get this or we can similar way we can also do like row total divided by column total divided by n we can do okay. so then we will arrange all these things in another table like this is the all object value then all expected value then o minus e then o minus e whole square okay this is this value we are trying to calculate this is the calculated value chi square calculated value that we are that uh, calculating here so we have got object value this is 20 th this value this is 20 100 this is 20 this is 100 this is 480 th this is 1400 all this value we have written okay then here expected value also all th this value and this value we wrote here okay then O minus E, what is O minus E? O minus E means 20 minus 30 equal to minus 10. Then 100 minus 90 equal to this value will come. And similarly, we have got these values. Okay. So, O, this is O value, this is minus E. We are getting. Then we are taking the square like 10 square 100 minus 10 square 100. Then this is 10 square 100, this is 10 square 100, this is also minus 10 square 100. It will come. Okay. So, what is the formula? The formula for this? this is the formula that is given. So, O minus E whole square. So, O minus E whole square we have got 100, okay, divided by E. This is the divided by E, you can see. So, this is 100 divided by this 30, we will get this. Okay. Similarly, 100 divided by 90, we will get this, 1.11. Similarly, 100 minus 470 we will get this similarly 100 minus 14 10 we will get this so we have to take the sum because here it is sum okay so all these we have to take the sum we have to add here okay so once we add we have got the calculator value that is 4.71 this is the chi square calculator next point that we have to look for the table value so, for table value, what we need to do? We need to calculate the degree of freedom. Degree of freedom. So, the degree of freedom formula is number of column minus 1. How many columns are there? This is column number 1. This is column number 2. Sorry, this is column number 1. This is column number 2. Okay, number of columns are 2. So, this is the row number 1. This is row number 2. Okay. So, this is that means 2 minus 1 into 2 minus 1 equal to 1. Okay. So, then let us see this. This is you can see. So, we have taken it uh, alpha value that is degree of like a level of significance is 0 0.05. This is 1. 1 means this is the degree of freedom that we have calculated. This is the degree of freedom and we have got this value like 3.87. This is the 3.87 we have got. So, now we have got the calculated chi square value and we have got the critical value like table value we have got now we have to make a conclusions so there are some of the decision rules we must refer to thumb rule is that if table value is greater than calculated value then accept h0 so table value is what is table value table value is 3.84 so calculated value is 4.71 okay so it is not greater than that means first assumption that first rule is rejected in this case okay that means this is not true in this case second one table value less than calculated value yes it is table value is 3.84 less than calculated value this is 4.71 don't accept h0 that means accept accept h1 okay h1 accept h1 like this is the conclusion that you can make h1 is accepted which means covid 19 vaccination drive has been effective in checking the spread of 
corona virus this is the this is the h1 that means this has been effective so whatever money that government has put uh, on it that has been effective that has given return that means covid 19 vaccination has been able to check the spread of uh, corona virus but we have to conclude here okay so let us remember once again so uh, in what situation under what condition chi square test can be performed or selected to perform okay so the response value uh, that variable here in this case has to be categorical text based categorical variable just as we found that uh, uh, like uh, yes no answer is yes no or cannot say kind of things we have to see it is so what it does the underlying mechanism of calculating this it convert it converts within itself the all the categorical variable into frequency okay we we'll just make the count of all the yes and no what how many yes are there how many no are there all these we put in the table and accordingly we make the calculations okay so that's for the lesson thank you